Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning for the week of July 13th through July 19th. So this week I changed up my routine a little bit. I um, started running and doing a little bit of exercising. I also um, picked up a book throughout the week, which you'll see. And... Um, I stopped drinking soda and I giggle at that because throughout the years I've stopped drinking soda. Um, my longest bout, I guess, would be I definitely didn't drink through high school. So a good four or five years that I went without drinking soda. So um, I actually started drinking soda because... Um, I got pregnant with my first daughter and it was like a hot summer day and the thought of a squirt with ice was just so appealing. I was craving that like crazy and ever since then I've just been addicted so but I've gone like you know weeks and even months since then uh, without drinking soda but Anyway, I decided to add a few trackers here for reading, for stretching, for running, and for not drinking soda. Um, to, you know, to kind of help hold me accountable for some of my bad habits. But moving on to Monday. So I went into work my regular shift. I had an impromptu lunch date with my husband. Um, and it wasn't really a lunch date. It was more so that our lunches um, happened to be at the same time this particular day. And we decided to just eat at home and um, enjoy, you know, some rare peace and quiet. So we did that. And then later that night, we ended up finishing the Jeffrey Epstein documentary on Netflix. So Tuesday, I went into work a little bit earlier. Um, I uploaded my Plan With Me video. Um, and then I started a new book. Well, it was it's actually an audiobook. Um, it's called A Very Punchable Face. And it's written by Colin Jost. And if you don't know who that is, Colin Jost is um, the co-head writer for Saturday Night Live. And he co-anchors with Michael Che. Um, for their weekend update um, segment on SNL. And it's one of my favorite segments that SNL does. And I think both of them together like make a really good team. And so when I heard that this book was coming out, I was really excited because I find both of them really funny and Colin Jost is just like on another level. So I was really excited to get that started. And when it comes to memoirs, or, you know, kind of like autobi or biographies based off celebrities that I admire. I like to listen to the audiobook, especially when it's being read by them. And I've read a few um, in the past year um, that are really good. So if you're looking for a good audiobook, I definitely recommend this one. But um, moving on to Wednesday, I had to add a checklist. A heart checklist um, because I did do a few things I went to the library to drop off some books I ended up calling my daughter um, throughout the day um, we, we text on and off like all the time but I call her usually after I get off of work and then I did some laundry because apparently laundry just consumes my life and I've Basically, I'm either doing laundry or I'm folding laundry and then putting them away. Not all in the same day, but I'm, the laundry just, it's just never ending in my household. But anyway, Thursday, I went to Dollar Tree and I cannot remember why I went to Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if it was something for the house or for school. I don't know I couldn't tell you but I video called my daughter because she got her hair done out there 
and she was excited to show me and now my girl looks all fancy so I can't wait to see her and then Friday I actually treated my students to a pizza party the last half of the week they actually behaved really well so I wanted to treat them a little bit so my husband came through with some pizzas um, and then later that night we had movie night like a double feature the first movie we watched um, it's called not another teen movie and if you haven't seen it don't waste your time watching it it's just a spoof off of romantic comedies that came out in the 90s and it even, it even referenced some from the 80s and it to me it's not it's just a stupid funny kind of movie um, so if, if you're into that kind of humor, then go for it. I personally am not, but my husband wanted to watch that. And then we watched, um, uh, Palm Springs and that one stars Andy Samberg and Christina Malati, I think her last name is. And, uh, she played the mom in How I Met Your Mother, the last, like, two episodes. <sighs> and, um... It was really good. It's a it's a really fun and sweet romantic comedy, romantic story. Um, highly recommend. It's on Hulu. And then Saturday was just not my day. I woke up with a headache that day. Um, it was just not a good morning. And um, so I pretty much just stayed in bed all day. I did finish the audiobook which I rated five stars it was just really good Colin Joseph is a really good storyteller he knows how to add comedy and you know in his stories um and then I started one of the books that came in my Nightworms book box uh, called Mexican Gothic so far so good on that one um and then I did manage later on in the day to kind of clean up the kitchen a little bit, even though I still wasn't feeling my best. So we did that. Um, and then you'll see here that I went in to fill in my trackers. So I managed to read all week except for Monday. I did stretch all seven days oh no I'm sorry not seven days I did stretch every day except for Saturday because Saturday was just my off day um and then I did run Monday through Friday I gave my weekend um to rest and do some exercising and then um I have not drank soda so really really excited about that hopefully you know that kind of starts off well for me um Sunday was busy though I felt a lot better so I helped my husband um build the bunk bed for my boys and then we had to do some switching around for the girls beds um which my girls are all excited about and then that night we watched The Last Dance which is another documentary on Netflix but this documentary focuses on the 90s Chicago Bulls. And I think it's specifically about the 97-98 season um, because that's supposed to be the last season that Phil Jackson was the head coach there, which made Michael Jordan want to leave as well. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so. And if you get a chance, please make sure you like this video. Thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.